Welcome back to the homestead. And today what I wanted to talk to you guys about is probably one of the, it's in the top three questions Doug and I are asked about living off grid is how do you do your laundry? Well, I'm going to show you today. So come on, let's go. Well, you guys caught me finally. You're here for the laundry video, my new laundry video. So today I'm going to be doing laundry. And uh, from the last time you guys saw, I did not use what I'm using right now because right now I'm using this hand washer that we've got from Layman's. And actually, I finally found something that I really, really, really love. And it's, I can use it all throughout the year and I really enjoy it and it's just a lot of fun. And it keeps me in shape. So what I'm gonna do is I filled it up with water. Right now, um, Doug has not set up our rainwater catchment on the outside of our learning center area right here where I'm doing the laundry. Right now I'm using a hose and putting it into where we have our shower inside and that's where we're getting the water right now temporarily, which is no big deal. I don't mind doing that at all. But we're gonna be changing it in just a little bit. It's just always changing here. But um, we filled this up with water. I like to fill up tubs of water and get ready for the process. And then I'm gonna show you some of the things that I use to do my laundry. One thing that I really, really love are these things called soap nuts, okay? They're little, they're kind of sticky right now because they have this, these saponins, it's kind of the outer coating, and that's what helps to get stains out. And it's from the soap berry, it's a tree, an actual tree, and they grow and they're pretty native of warmer climates all around the world. So basically you're gonna need four or five of these and you put them in a little muslin bag. And this is gonna last me about four or so washings, four or five washings too. If they start falling apart, you know they're getting old and you can't use them anymore. And all I do is put it in the water and then I'm gonna use a little laundry boost because I could wash if I had a delicate load or if I had a load of clothes that was possibly um, not that dirty, then I would just use these by themselves. But sometimes if you have some hard stains, and I know if Doug has like mud on his pants and all that, I need a little bit extra. So I use my laundry booster, arm and hammer, and I use about half a cup or so. And then I want it to smell good, so I always like to add eucalyptus. Eucalyptus really makes your laundry smell good. And it's not as strong as it would actually smell, but I love it, so I always try to put that in there. And then I'll put a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. I use this for everything. And then I'm just gonna kind of mash, mash it up, stir it up. So I just dissolved all the powder from the washing soda. Now this hand washer that I have can hold 15 gallons of water. And when you look at it, when I first got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing looks so teeny. It's not gonna hold any clothes. Well, it can hold a ton of clothes, I'll show you. So let's count how many things I'm putting in. So I have sweatpants, I got a flannel shirt, another pair of sweatpants, a sweatshirt. And here's a big old big pair of Doug's pants right here. Shirt, another flannel shirt, another shirt. And still, I have a lot of room in here. Here, let's put a towel in. Then a washcloth. Here's another sweatshirt and another flannel shirt. And how about another pair of sweatpants? So there we go, I got lots of clothes in here. And they're not little clothes. And all I do is wring it. Now, you could do it a couple ways. If I just stayed here and I would go back and forth for a while, in a few minutes, I could have my clothes washed. But generally what I like to do is I'll go ahead and put it in there, let it set, and it has a lid on it. I put it on and then I'll go and do things. I'll let the chickens out, I'll make breakfast, do whatever. And then maybe in an hour or so I'll come back and then I'll go ahead and wring it a little, or I'll wash it a little bit, and then I'll hang it up. So it just kind of depends what's going on. If something doesn't, isn't as dirty, then I may not leave it in as long, and I'll just go ahead and wring it out and then hang it up on the clothesline, or leave it for a little bit and then go do my things. And that's usually always how I do it. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go and do a couple chores, and I'll be back with you in just a second.
Well, I'm back. So I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and rock it again. So it's probably been about a half an hour or so. People are like, I can't believe you do that. I love it. It's just gotten, you listen to the sound. The turkeys are running around, the dogs are running around, the chickens are running around. Listen to the sounds of nature. It's great. Oh, and here's another one. I get a lot of questions. It's like, how do you do that in the winter? Well, I do it in the winter. I'm just gonna wear, you know, like rain boots when I'm out here. Um, the only time that I won't do this is if it's really, really windy and freezing cold. I will go to the laundromat. I do cheat. Or I'll just wait and have more laundry. <laughs> and then when you have friends come over, they're like, this is so cool. I'll let them do it. They like to do laundry too. All right, I think we're done. So the next thing we're gonna do now is I need to rinse my clothes. And there's a cool little plug underneath this thing. So I'm gonna let all the dirty water go out. Just let it drain. And then once that's drained, I'm gonna start putting water into it. So now I went ahead and I let the water drain from the plug down here. And I'm just gonna rinse it. So I use my little bucket like I'm putting out a fire. And then I'll just get the little handle and I'll just kind of rinse it. And that make sure that my clothes get nice and rinsed so there's no soap on them. And then I'll let it drain. All right, so now what I do, you can leave them in here and rinse. And I do that sometimes, but a lot of times, if I have a lot of big stuff, I just have that tub of water and I'll just put my clothes in there and then I rinse them a little bit more hope you guys don't get wet now here comes the fun part the ringer woohoo so all I do is I put it in here and I'm gonna ring it through Yes, don't get your hair caught in here. Or your fingers. It's so crazy when you guys put your clothes in, you know, they're soaking, soaking wet. And when you put them through this ringer, it's amazing. I can't even believe how, I mean, they're like almost dry. It, it does a really good job. We're almost done. And then we can hang them on the line because who does not like clothes hung on the line with a nice fresh smell? All right, you ready to hang some clothes? So now it's time to hang them on the line. And I love this thing. I originally, before we built this building here, I had a long clothesline, which I loved. And I'm like, I don't want to get any other kind. And then I had a lot of people tell me that this kind of the movable one that goes around in a circle, see how this kind of moves, said it was great. And you can hold a lot of clothes on it. And we got this from layman's too, layman's.com. It can hold three or four, depending how big your loads are, loads of laundry on this thing. And it's perfect for Doug and I. If I have shirts, I can just stick them on a hanger like this and hang them up. And that works out good too. Before we had got this hand washer, washing machine from Layman's, I used to do my laundry on an old Speed Queen, like ringer washer that we would hook up to a little generator. And that's what I had used before. And that worked out great, it was wonderful. But you know, you have to use your gasoline and all this. And I wanted something that was like a real off-grid kind of washing machine. And I thought, oh, I don't know, it might be too much work or, you know, I just wasn't sure until I got it. And I can't believe, I really enjoy it. It is one thing that people say all the time, I can't believe you do that. But I really do love it. And it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. And it's just kind of fun to be out in nature 
and it didn't take me that long at all. You did laundry with me this morning and it was a lot of fun and I'm just gonna go about and do my chores now. I'm gonna do a little fermenting, do a little harvesting out of the garden and get in some herbs and finish up my day and then tomorrow I think I might do some whites. So thanks for stopping by and I will look forward to seeing you guys later. Bye. I see you. <laughs> oh boy.